Willie McCovey was one of their own. Summoned in late July of 59, Stretch was an instant smash, going four for four against Robin Roberts in his debut. And despite playing just 52 games, was named Rookie of the Year. I came up in uh, July. I went four for four against Robin Roberts. And he went on to hit 354 that year with 50 home runs. I had already hit 30 home runs. And that was so much more than the other guys in the league that even though I left in July, I still ended up leading the Pacific Coast League in both home runs and RBIs that year. 59 was an amazing season for me overall. Willie McCovey may have wondered what could have been, but Giant fans never looked back once McCovey arrived. It's unlikely any slugger hit the ball as consistently hard in the 1960s as McCovey. Besides an MVP award, he is the only National Leaguer to win back-to-back -back home run and RBI titles. Even when opponents shifted their defense to combat his line drives, McCovey simply drove the ball out of reach and finished his career with 521 home runs. More home run power appears in the person of the six foot four inch Willie McCovey. Big stretch took the league by storm and established his own homer chasing army in back of the right field fence. With the vision of McCovey's big swing planted in their minds, opposing pitchers had plenty to think about. In the seventh, McCovey connects solidly with all his 200 pounds behind the swing. It's going, going, it's gone. The Giants lead two to nothing. The National League flexes its muscles in the third inning, scoring five runs. The big blow is Willie McCovey's home run with Hank Aaron on. The National League, way out in front. The San Francisco Giants and Willie McCovey are tough competitors. Even the McCovey ship can't stop Willie. He wins the National League home run and RBI titles and is named the 1969 National League's most valuable player. Earning him this week's Gillette Special. McCovey is only the 12th man in history to hit 500. And no other player is likely to reach that milestone for at least seven years. Congratulations, Willie. They called him Stretch, and never has a more imposing figure stepped up to the plate. a fearsome six foot four 200 pounder with a looping left-handed swing was one of the game's greatest power hitters he holds the national league record for the most grand slams 18 and his 521 career home runs puts him in a tie with the great ted williams for ninth place on the all-time list he played 22 years in the major leagues 18 of those as a san francisco giant You can be sure there were plenty of happy pitchers the day in 1980 when Willie McCovey decided to hang up his spikes. Thus, it is no surprise that he became only the 16th player ever elected to the Hall of Fame by the Baseball Writers Association of America in his first year eligible. Thank you. Thank you very much. I realize the weather is threatening, but a lot of people passed through my life during my long baseball career, and I hope you'll bear with me because I'd like to mention them all. I'm thinking of Jackie Robinson, who broke the color line and made our dreams of being a major leaguer a reality. thinking of Jesse Thomas, a playground director in Mobile, who arranged for me to have a tryout in front of the Giant Scouts down in Melbourne, Florida. 
At the late scout Alex Pompez and Mr. Jack Swartz of the Giants, who together signed me to my first contract. Of course, I would be remiss if I failed to acknowledge and extend my thanks and appreciation to the members of the Baseball Writers Association of America, not only for electing me to baseball's highest shrine, but for many years of kind words and generous praise. And the same holds true for all of the sports media. It's been my distinct pleasure through the years to have met and become friends with many of the nation's best and brightest sports journalists. And now I have become a player on the most distinguished team of all. It's a new family in a way, a family of men whose accomplishments in baseball and in life set them apart from all others. And I'm truly honored and blessed with this ultimate adoption, if you will, by the game that I played so hard and loved so deeply. An emotional moment as Willie McCovey is inducted into the Hall of Fame.